how do you feel when you invest in yourself? And what, like, what does investing in yourself really even mean? I feel like that's something that I know I say a lot, but I feel like that's some a phrase that a lot of people throw out there. Invest in yourself, spend time on yourself, spend money on yourself, self-care. This is investment in myself. Like that's something, it's a phrase that you see all over social media. People throw it out there all the time, but what does it actually mean to invest in yourself? If you really sit down for a second and, and write out all the ways that you invest in yourself, you'll probably be shocked by how often you actually practice this and you don't even realize you're doing it. And that's something that I have been spending a lot of time thinking about. And I actually did this whole process myself where I sat down and thought about all the little ways I invest in myself. And I didn't think that all the things that were on my list were actual investments. But when I started to think of it this way and see them all written down on paper, like in a list, my mind was blown. And I thought, wow, I invest in myself quite often and I need to understand why I'm spending money on these things or spending time or energy on this, these things. And in some cases, like maybe this isn't, this might be a little controversial to say, but in some cases why I'm, I'm investing in certain people you know, in different ways, like why am I doing this? And when I sat back to really think about it, it made me feel not so great. And in some ways it made me feel amazing. So yeah, we're gonna talk about that today. So what does investing in yourself really mean? Personally, like I'm sure that there's some sort of definition on Google or, or something that you can look up yourself, but I'm gonna talk about what it means like to me. So for me, investing in yourself means any amount of money, time, or energy that you spend doing or on, or that you spend on yourself. Either doing something that is solely for you or going someplace that is solely for you that you have to spend money, time, or energy on. So I think of investing in myself or how maybe how you can think of investing in yourself in terms of money, time, and energy. Those three things are so important in your life. And if you really sit down to think about it, you can probably figure out whether or not you're spending enough time, money, or energy on yourself, or if you're spending most of your investments on other people in those three areas. So one of the things that I was surprised that I invest in on myself um, when I made this giant list of all the little ways that I invest in myself um, about like a month or, or uh, this is this is probably more like around the holidays actually. I just happened to revisit it about a month ago but I, I wrote this list I think in like maybe December or November of last year. Um, but I realized I was spending a lot of energy reaching out to people. And whether that's, you know, for my business where I'm in my DMs and I'm answering people's questions or going back and forth with people based on like a story that they posted or a story I posted or, you know, giving views or likes or sharing or something of content with people that I know who like ask for support or just kind of like, you know, being in their sphere in their world and seeing like what they're up to. Um, that to me is an investment in someone. Um, but it also is a time investment because it's a time sucker to be on social media, even if it's like for your business or even if it's for work or even if you're a social manager or social media manager or doing marketing, anytime you're on the actual social media platform, it is an energy sucker and it is a time waster. That's what it is. But anyway, that could be a whole nother, whole nother episode where we talk about that stuff. But let's go back to investing in yourself. So when I sat back and I realized like, wow, I spent a lot of time and energy on social media, but not for myself and not for my business, but because either I'm scrolling because I can't sleep 
and then I'm up at like midnight or one in the morning or something and I'm just scrolling away and then an hour passes or like God forbid I'm on TikTok because then that's that's like a black hole. You end up on TikTok and you're there for 10 hours sometimes like it's crazy and you just spend all this time on it and I find when I go on like it I know it doesn't sound good but like you go on like a TikTok bin, binge and I'll find myself watching TikTok like clockwork like I'm scheduled like it's part of my scheduling scheduled programming to watch TikTok for three four days in a row and I'll look up and I'm like wait a second at seven o'clock at night every night for the last four days I've been on TikTok scrolling like while I eat my dinner I'm scrolling on TikTok and then I finish my dinner and I have it going and I'm scrolling while I'm like cleaning up the kitchen or something and then it's 10 o'clock at night and I'm still scrolling on TikTok because I'm invested in in Risa Tisa or something <laughs> like some kind of crazy story and I just keep consuming all this content from these people I don't know and really could care less about but I gotta know what happens next so the next thing you know it's one in the morning and I've been on TikTok for hours so I'm sure you can probably relate to that in some case even if you don't admit it like I'm here I'll admit it but I, you probably won't admit it but you probably do the same thing and I realize that it takes so much of my energy away because I'm exhausted. I just was staring at my phone for all these hours. And like I said, being invested in other people's business, like I have no cares about. And once I leave the app, I don't even remember what their names are. <laughs> but I realize I, I keep doing that. And the more that I do that, the worse I feel. But what if I had that time where I could, you know, be getting some sleep or be reading a book or doing an arts and crafts project or checking in with people that I actually know in real life, you know, that type of thing made me like it was an eye opener when I saw how much time I spend on that. So that's like a time sucker and energy sucker. Of course, like, you know, that's just one example, but a, a more positive example, I guess, and what I spend time on investing in myself was my skincare routine. So I don't spend a whole lot of money on beauty products and all that, but I take my skincare routine very seriously for two reasons. One, because I like doing it, but also because I have eczema. I have very severe eczema. I've had eczema since I was a baby. And like my mom can tell you all sorts of stories about all the little treatments and the products and the doctors, the pediatricians and all these specialists and stuff that I used to go to when I was a kid and all the little things that I would have to do and she would have to do just to make me feel comfortable and not scratch my skin off. And as an adult, like I still get flare ups. It happens way less now because I have figured out how to manage my eczema and how to take care of my skin better. But that's, you know, the main reason why my skincare routine is so important to me. So, you know, that's a more positive way that I spend my time, my money and my energy because I need to create a skincare routine nightly that helps me relax, calm down, but also helps me um, indulge a little bit in self-care, right? And it does help a lot. So that's like a more positive example than the TikTok one, I guess. But it's still a version of investing in yourself. And I feel like that's important because you don't really always realize all the little things that you do throughout the day that do, do make a really strong impact in your life. Just simple things like going to get yourself a coffee at Starbucks or a Dunkin' or whatever your favorite coffee shop is. You go and you grab that drink and you're like, okay, for this moment, I'm taking time to do this because like I earned this. I deserve this. Or, you know, this drink was expensive, but it's because it's something that I want and I like to do and it's like a reward for doing whatever I did. So for the day before before getting this drink and it seems like a really small thing, but it is important to you and it is an investment. Um, and then, you know, you realize like what how you feel afterward. It gives you a little extra perk, not just because you're drinking something caffeinated, but just because like you just took the moment out of your day to just do something that you that's just for you that's also considered an investment to me. So I feel like one of the things that um, definitely helped me and could probably help you too in figuring out what's important to you or how you can carve out space for something like figure skating, just for as, as an example, 
Um, Because if you're listening to this, you're probably a figure skater and you're probably trying to figure out how you can squeeze in more time for skating in your schedule. Uh, But it is an investment in yourself, right? So if you can make a list like I did on how all the ways in your life just right now that you invest in yourself, whether it's in terms of the money that you spend, the energy that you're expelling, or the time that you're giving away, um, or that you're getting back maybe. I don't know. I don't usually get time back for myself, unfortunately, unless I'm sleeping, which I guess is kind of time back in a way, but um, maybe you do. You can share that with me if, if you think of something. Um, <laughs> cause I can't think of any examples right now of giving my time back, giving myself time back. But, um, anyway, you can make a list of all the different ways that you're investing in yourself and then start going through that list and being like, I don't want that. That doesn't make me feel good. I love doing that. I need to add more of that. I really don't like this person. I need to get rid of them and expel them from my life because they're just a drain on my time, my money and my energy. Or... I need to get more of this person in my life because they actually fill me up with more time, money, and energy, and I enjoy that, right? So that's one thing that I would suggest that you do. If you're really looking to figure out how to like bring more fulfillment to your life and invest in yourself. <laughs>